Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. County Fair season is well underway in Oklahoma and we are so happy to join you this week from the Payne County Fair where 4-H'ers and FFA members are busy right now showing sheep. Meantime, out in the field, we're talking about insects and summer crops, as well as how to get ready for fall planting with our extension entomologist, Tom Royer. Um, we're having to you know, answer some questions and, and maybe go back to making decisions about how to control the aphids and when to control them in double crop grain sorghum. Unfortunately, we don't have as many answers for forage sorghum because it's planted so thick, it's so tall, um, we don't even know if the insecticides are as effective on, as they <clears throat> would be on grain sorghum. So we have some examples here uh, and they're loaded with sugarcane aphids. So we can take a look at them, kind of point out what to be looking for, um, unfortunately, by the time you see things like this, with the slick leaves that's, uh, that's covered with the honeydew, that means you should have been treating two weeks ago because these aphids have built up. And so underneath there, as you can see, we have a lot of aphids, but we also have some lady beetles that are munching away at these aphids. The unfortunate thing though, this would be like one lady beetle ordering 15 steak dinners. They can't eat it all. There's just not, there's just too much food for them. So they can't keep up with the aphids. So by this time though, you say it's too far gone to, you to can, really do you much? You can control them, but uh, you would have prevented some yield loss if you'd have gotten out here early and scouted and, and made that decision a couple of weeks ago. You would have preserved better yield. So you have another plant here yes. that you wanted to show us. Yeah. What were you seeing when you analyzed the leaves on this plant? Um, this is an example. This is something that can spill over into wheat, especially if it's early planted wheat. But here is an example of uh, fall armyworm infestation that's probably occurring on this plant. This is what we call window painting. This is an example of window painting. This is when the caterpillars are so small they literally can't chew through the leaf, so they scrape the tissue off. As they get bigger, they can go through the leaf and chew the whole leaf off. With fall armyworm, we're seeing examples here, and we're seeing flights occur. Anybody that's planting wheat right now, uh, we want to make sure to let the uh, wheat growers know that if they're wanting to accumulate forage for stalker cattle, they need to be out there early to make sure these armyworms aren't killing their their seedlings as they're coming up out of the ground now. Let's go ahead and take a look at some some soybeans. All right. Tom, what are you seeing? Right here, this is with soybeans, this is what we're wanting to protect right now from stink bugs and corn earworms. This is an example of pod feeding, probably I'm guessing from a caterpillar, but uh, pod and pod feeding is occurring right here as well. If you get enough numbers, it can it can significantly rob the yield and this is what we're trying to protect at this point in time. So tell us what this is. This is a tool that uh, we're evaluating uh, from a company called Sensa and, and they uh, get producers to subscribe to this. But the interesting thing about this is it's a traditional pheromone trap that you can bait with uh, any number of uh, different pheromones to trap moths depending on what you're interested in capturing. But the unique part of this is that there's a camera mounted on top here that uh, will take pictures of cat catches on a daily basis and identify the new catches that occur um, and then send that electronically back to the subscribers so that they know what kind of flight activity is occurring for the particular moth that they're interested in, in monitoring. Well, keep us posted on, on how it works and okay. whether this kind of technology is, is a model to just help with that scouting picture and yep. fields and crops. Yep. Tom, good to see you. Good we'll see you again you. soon. All right, thanks.